welcome everybody to another night, a fun-filled night of World of Warships Legends. I am Phoenix61, and we are playing the Benham. We've done some, I know we've done at least one other radio on this ship before, um, but it is my all-time favorite destroyer to play like an asshole with and be super aggressive. Um, so sometimes it uh, doesn't work out for you, obviously, right? But um, 16 torpedoes on this ship, so you get two launchers of four on each side of the ship is just insane. Um, the downside is they're not very strong and they don't have the greatest range, right? But get decent guns too in your typical American fashion, two smoke screens and two engine boosts, right? So um, we will have some fun with the ship um, in this game. Um, and you will see why my win ratio is not always the greatest. <laughs> but we have a good game uh, this this time around, right? But ultimately, yep, we're gonna go in and see what happens if we can't get in, if we can get into the sea cap. We'll help cap the zone, right? And then typically, I like to launch torpedoes up the alleyway here, where the enemies tend to spawn and come from, um, just in case we can't hit uh, one of their destroyers that's trying to do the exact same thing we are, right? And if this Richie Lou keeps coming here, we'll be able to hit him as well. It's kind of crazy to see, like, okay, like, with we're capping the zone, so they have to know that there's... Oh, he's just going to bump into the island, I see. Like, I'm like, they have to know there's destroyers in here, right? Or at least one, <laughs> instead of just coming full force into the zone. But um, we get into the cap, and we will help capture. Turpitz looks like he's making an unfortunate turn. If he keeps coming along this path, he's gonna hit at least, he's gonna meet at least one set of our torpedoes, right? And then, since I know my left side is going to be the first one reloaded, um, I'd like to get turned around here, but um, pressed in because, uh, just because that battleship's getting so close to us here, right? Um, so we are within spotting range uh, of uh, at least this first guy, the turpits here. I was kind of confused as what was spotting us. Maybe, uh, maybe the Benson, because we were behind this island. So I didn't think, yep, yep, somebody took a torp. I didn't think the battleships could see us yet, but there's also airplanes now at this point. And six more torpedo hits. <laughs> so somebody kept going. And we trying to get you. Yeah, here we go. There's two Bensons. That's what it is. <laughs> All right, so we'll see what these battleships are gonna do. If they're gonna press in, we'll um, get ourselves turned around um, and see if we can't dodge torpedoes from the Benson pair over here and also shoot at this Turpitz. And we still haven't used our smoke screen yet, so that's gonna be a, a possibility here too. Um, but yeah, Turpitz isn't even looking at us, so they're distracted. They uh, are distracted by our other destroyer buddy here, right? So. Not taking too much fire other than secondaries at the moment. We get lots of hits on him and that gets us unspotted. No smoke screen needed. Alright, Richie Lou saw his buddy die by lots of torpedoes, so he decides to press in as well. Ooh, Anubis. Well, that might be a expanse reference. That's pretty cool. Your gamer tag name does not make you a better player, though. <laughs> yep. So airplanes are keeping us spotted. That's pretty typical. Richie Lou. So we'll use our smoke screen because it looks like they're just going to hover over us, right? Um, Richie Lou takes our torps, and we are at almost seventy thousand damage within four minutes of the game. <laughs> And I really, so, you know, I, I don't want to just park it here in my smoke screen. I know the, um, this battleship's helping shoot these airplanes down, uh, but I want to try and defend the zone, right? So I'm going to get at least to a point, you know, I haven't lost too much health either, so it's kind of okay to still be a little bit aggressive. Um, but I want to try and keep this zone in our hands, right? So um, pressing forward is kind of my thought process there for that. There's two Benson still over there. Oh no, it's a Jarvis. Okay, yeah, my bad. <laughs> so he is probably, just based on how he was angled, he's potentially sent torpedoes our direction. Um, so we'll have to keep that in mind. Don't go broadside to that 
that side over there, right? So we'll kind of keep ourselves pointed appropriately so that we can quickly dodge torpedoes if need be. And it looks like the airplanes, um, their carrier is going to come help out again. So it's highly likely that I'm going to be spotted and they won't, you know, and the enemy destroyers will not be spotted here because they're sitting in their smoke. Um, but I'm going to dump more. Oh, nope, we get him. We get him. Yes. <laughs> right as I sent more. All right, two destroyers down. Wait, is that, was that both of them that were over here? And our Butsums have pretty decent uh, anti-air as well, just because I think a lot of the American ships do, but you know, typically it's a destroyer struggle. So we'll turn in towards these torps, and that'll help us dodge them a little bit easier. It was still kind of not the greatest um, torpedo drop from airplanes. Is that North Carolina? Has it not even moved? <laughs> this may be a factor in us uh, doing so well on this side, at least. And yeah, we're going to have to turn, turn, turn! We're going to take one of these. Damage con that. More airplanes shot down. So yeah, if this North Carolina is not paying attention, there's no sense in me not firing at him. Um, and trying to trigger uh, fire and get some damage over time. Um, you know, just get some status effects on him, right? Deactivated. Nothing like a good game due to an AFK player. <laughs> Aren't you guys glad you watched this video? <laughs> Watch me kill this battleship that's doing that's standing still. I'm so good at this game. <laughs> Carrier is gonna spot us again. Good times. Yeah, his guns aren't even moving. Those battleships uh, behind us is doing more damage than we are for sure. But we are finally within torpedo range. He is the only one here, we might as well send everything, just because by the time we spot something else, we'll probably be reloaded, right? And at the same time, I'm keeping an eye on the minimap where the airplanes are, because I, they are trying to bomb me yet again. I don't need to damage con the steering gear, because we have the um, legendary perk for where the steering engine still operates just not as good uh, when you do have that damage so it's kind of wasteful to use it on that right all right so we trigger flood here Are we not sure we seriously we haven't triggered a fire after all these bullets we've fired all right we get him with the blood we destroyed an enemy battleship I didn't even do like that much damage. Like we were at what, like 79, 69, 79,000, something like that before we started shooting at him. So we still did most of our damage to the other guys anyway. Turn towards the airplanes when you notice them doing their run when it's torpedoes anyway. Or directly away from them. I mean, he really needs to, I mean, it, it, granted it's, it's tough to hit a destroyer when you're the carrier to start with. Um, but, you know, go, lining up with me like this just gives me, you know, plenty of time. <laughs> plenty of time to, you know, I keep moving the same direction, which is right now towards his ship. <laughs> so coming from the side is a little bit more practical, right? But he's, so he's doing a little bit better of a job. This is forcing me to at least turn. Uh, but he dumped, the, he dropped them early, so they kind of all went scatter wampus, right? <laughs> so that made it easy to dodge too. And I think it's just because he's probably panicking. He wants to get his next set of airplanes going, um, so that he can uh, come back at me again, right? So we will move our way into the A cap and probably at the same time be able to um, go after their carrier if he continues to move this direction, right? So really just turning here at this point just because I saw the airplanes doing their run and may or may not have helped us, we don't know. <laughs> it's hard to tell, but a moving wiggling target I imagine is harder to hit than <laughs> a target that stays on the exact same course, right? So, um, but yeah, but bombs are, I feel like bombs are even more challenging depending on which carrier you're playing um, to uh, hit, <laughs> hit destroyers, right? But we are occupying this carrier's time this, you know, these last, what, like five minutes or so of this game. Um, so this is stuff that he will use the damage gun for the engine here. 
Um, but um, this is stuff that, you know, he could have been going after our battleship and actually have been causing damage to him in the areas, like, you know, getting either tiny amounts of damage or just doing random incapacitations against us, right? So I know a lot of people just preach and preach over and over and over again that when you're the carrier, it's your job to go after the enemy destroyers, right? And I'm like, yeah, it's it's circumstantial, though, like... You know how like how are you supposed to progress through you know tech trees and stuff if you don't get any XP because you've been chasing down you know destroy oh so close you've been chasing down a destroyer and missing this whole time you know like so you really have to be a, like a really talented <laughs> carrier player and also rely on quite a bit of luck um, to uh, be able to hit destroyers so part of it is just keeping destroyers spotted right and I can I can get behind that when it makes sense right I won't argue there. But yeah, like this guy's, he could have been, all these torpedoes could have, he could have taken out our battleship by this time, after all these runs that he's done against me and, and missed. And then now we're in our smoke screen, so he's 100% guessing when he's dumping torpedoes here too. Um, you can turn off and on your uh, anti-air uh, firing to kind of help uh, make yourself a little bit more concealed. So if they see the anti-air fire coming, um, you know, from the smoke, they'll try and aim in, in that direction, right? So... Uh, we will spot the carrier some more, and most likely I'm going to guess our battleship will finish him off, but that's fine. Better him to be dead than just be selfish and get, get the kill myself. I'd rather take the win of the game, right? But yeah, ten airplanes shot down in a destroyer that's not particularly... You know, I don't have any special anti-air, you know, outfitting or commander <laughs> perks um, set on this ship, so... Yeah, see, he's just barely getting... When you get, like, clipped or, like, get, like, splash damage from, like, a bomb, um, most likely it just causes incapacitation, doesn't do you any real damage, right? So, but yeah, he's... He's continuing... He knows that I, I, I can't shoot torpedoes at this range, so... He is keeping his distance, right? I think at some point our other battleships are going to be able to shoot him as well. So he's kind of got himself in a little bit of a corner, pickle, whatever you want to call it, right? And one more destroyer. So their destroyer must have capped C um, while I've been only paying attention to the carrier. And so I'm going to guess he's probably going back down to D to cap or maybe up to A to cap, you know, his own. Um, I'm just looking at the, the enemy destroyer where, where he could potentially be. And then, of course, we know the... Uh, Battleship is, is still in the sea, so hopefully we can get rid of this carrier, and that'll give us a decent point swing, um, and then maybe we can go and help out at, at uh, Zone B and start getting capped there or going after their battleship. This is right now. This is a fairly close game on points. You know, if we lose our carrier or a battleship, like that's a big enough point swing to make it a tight game, right? So. Lots of torps going after the Saipan. I can't imagine he dodges them all. Although he should see them. He's got planes flying over, so he should... I can't imagine he hasn't spotted those torpedoes. But we'll continue. So the reason I'm firing guns as well is because, like, obviously I'm spotted by the airplanes, too. Um, but if I can trigger fires or, you know, anything that would trigger his sort of, like, automatic... Um, uh, damage con that happens, uh, you know, but then when a torpedo hits, he'll have a flood on him, right? So um, then we could actually get some flood damage. Switch to AP here just to see if we can't do some more just raw damage since we got a decent broadside shot on him. Um, it's working pretty good, but not good enough. <laughs> so occasionally you get a citadel on a carrier when you're in a, yeah, <laughs> just this tiny little bit. All right, Bismarck finished him off. Good job. We'll take it. But between what we did to him, we're now at 137,000 damage. That's pretty good for the Benham. And not too concerned on points now since we took that carrier out. So if we didn't take him out, if the Bismarck didn't finish him off, we would have kept going for him uh, once we got around the island, right? So, uh, but um, I'm going to try not to die. It looks like their carrier with his last remaining bomber is trying to keep me spotted for this Kansas probably. We are out of range, Kansas. He doesn't look like he's looking at me. I haven't seen any bullets coming this way either. Uh, but now we've got some range. He is literally the only ship right now that um, 
Yeah, it doesn't matter, but we're gonna win on points uh, when the timer runs out. So the teammate's signaling to zone A, but yeah, yeah, like it's, it's not a big deal. Um, my torpedoes aren't even gonna get there in time <laughs> to finish off this Kansas. But like I was gonna say, he's literally the last ship spotted that these both these battleships are probably shooting at him, right? So if they can, there might be an island in the way for one of them here. But that wins us the game just because the timer ran out and we had more points. We will see where we hit on the leaderboard. And it puts us at the top. Ooh, 3,400 XP. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty... That's a good game, guys. That's what you want to see. And they're... They're a kangaroo. They're king... I like to call it the kangaroo. They're a destroyer on their team. That, that They did awesome as well. 1,700... Uh, you get a little, of a, a little bit of a bump when you're on the winning team as far as XP goes. But uh, yeah, he did pretty awesome too. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I will have more World of Warships videos on the way, so please make sure to subscribe to the channel. Until next time.